Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich with an update on the storm, which is now entering our area. It's been raining a little breezy overnight, but we're just now starting to see the strongest winds enter the Western Carolinas. You can see how massive this system is. And I put all the storm reports on here because what I've been watching is, are we seeing damaging wind reports to the West or Southwest? And we are already seeing some in the mountains as that strong low level jet moves in. The core of the strongest winds and also the heaviest rain is right about in here. And this is beginning not only to push to the east, but also translate a little bit to the northeast. As this warm front slides north, that's when we're going to see things really ramp up going into the next couple of hours. I think 9, 10, 11 a.m. It's going to literally go from pretty calm conditions to things ramping up quickly. Um, and you'll likely, if you go outside, you're going to hear this kind of eerie roar above our heads because those strong winds are just above the surface and mixing down. Here's our tornado chances today. Again, 2% chance uh, just to the northwest of Charlotte. Around Charlotte, about a 5% chance. But the real concern is this area in red where we've got an enhanced risk for significant tornadoes, EF2 or taller or, or larger tornadoes. Here's the timing. Here we are this morning right now. It kind of put us on here. So we're entering this time period right here in the morning where things will start to ramp up. And again, it is going to go from pretty calm conditions to just blowing like crazy real quickly. And it'll come in waves, big gusts, and then it'll calm down. And then you'll see it kind of kick back up as we go into the afternoon. The significant wind gust risk, you can see this with the thunderstorm line. And again, I'll get into the future cast here. There's winds outside of the thunderstorms, but when that line gets here, that will be the greatest risk for everything. Tornado risk, wind risk, and flood risk. Here's the wind outlook for today. You can see this morning, out of the east right now, that'll be the other thing interesting, to watch the wind shift from the east to the southeast and then south-southeast, and that's when they really ramp up. You notice the middle of the day, right around noon, our gusts go to 60, and even through 5 p.m., we could see those winds gusting close to 60 miles per hour. I wanna go back to the, to the radar data here for a second, because one of the things I'm gonna do is turn on the surface winds and just to show you where the gusts are right now so we'll pop these on and hopefully they'll populate real quickly here so these are the current wind gusts so notice across most of our area those gusts i'm going to make the smaller font are in the 20 to 30 range but you go back to the southwest and you start seeing them jump into the 30 40 and even some 50 mile per hour winds so that's what's going to be heading our way so that's the forecast this afternoon you see that the rain ramping up obviously and temperatures going up as well as that wind shifts to the south. So we're in the 40s right now. I'm looking at the temperature. Uh, we're like 46, 47, but it's already 50 in Rock Hill and 54 in Lancaster. So that warm air is surging up from the south. So you're going to see a lot of things happen over the next couple hours. going to go from kind of a winter feel to full-on wind, rain, and thunderstorms. Let's take a look at that future cast. So we'll spend most of the time on this showing how things are going to fold. So here's 8 a.m. By the time you're watching this, it's probably 9 a.m. So we'll jump ahead one hour here. We'll go to about 10 a.m. Uh, winds really jump here. Notice how quickly they jump into the 30, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. Now, the one area where the winds could stay calm, if the cold air stays trapped right here, there's going to be an area where there's going to be an inversion. The, the strong winds will stay above the surface. But I want you to watch that area from Morganton to Hickory to Wilkesboro and even Statesville and watch as the southerly winds move in and eventually that gets overtaken by some strong winds. Look at this, this is 11 a.m. The winds all of a sudden jump to 40, even 50 mile per hour gusts. We go to 12, the gusts really start to pick up. Notice Morganton Hickory still not in the strongest winds yet because of that inversion in the cold air. We go to about 1 p.m. This is when we see the rain really pick up. Here's two o'clock. Look at all these wind gusts across the Piedmont between 40 and 50 and even 55 miles per hour. We go to about three o'clock, winds are still gusting. So this is slowed down just a hair from yesterday. It looked like the main batch would be 12 to one. Now it looks to be just a hair slower, maybe more mid afternoon. And then look at that line, it crosses between three and four. It moves really quickly. And look at that, you see that 60 mile per hour gust in Lincolnton. And again, in between, you're gonna see the same kind of scenario. So if your city isn't on the map, I know everyone asks, well, why isn't my city on here? You can't put every single city on the map. It's impossible because you wouldn't be able to read the map. So just get an idea, something's close to you, you're gonna be in that generally same kind of wind speed. Um, and notice now Hickory starts perking up and Wilkesboro as that wind moves in. We go to four o'clock, the, the, that batch moves in. So if you're looking for the worst weather, it really looks like it's going to be maybe an hour or two later than we had yesterday. So in that early afternoon, mid-afternoon time frame, 
And then by four o'clock starts pushing east by five o'clock. Winds are still howling, but the worst rain is starting to push east and severe risk. And then look at the winds, even behind the front, the winds have shifted to the southwest, but they're howling uh, basically around 30 to 35 miles per hour. So even into tonight, the winds will be howling. They just won't be as crazy strong as today. But look at that, even at 10 p.m., we're seeing some gusts over 40. I mean, it is going to be a windy, windy night. So the power outage risk is going to persist into tonight. And yeah, that is snow moving into the mountains by later this evening. I want to quickly show you the regional radars just to kind of show you the leading edge of where that strong wind is. So this is the this is a look at the next rad, radar and I'll loop this a couple times and you can see the rain moving in. But what I have on the right is the velocity data. This is showing me the winds uh, that the radar is detecting, the Doppler winds. I'm going to pause this real quickly. We're going to do a real quick just a little tally here. And this blue area down here, you're seeing winds that are in the 50 to 60 mile per hour range just off of the surface. So just off of the surface down here, I don't know why I did that, but um, these blue areas down here, this is where the strongest winds are and they're starting to translate and you're seeing strong winds in the mountains. So to me, the leading edge of the strong winds is somewhere in here and it's starting to push in. So that 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 time of arrival around 9, 10 o'clock makes sense. I mean, look at how strong those winds are down there. Um, you're looking at really potent winds. Some of these winds right in here, if you look at the top of the screen, it shows you the wind speed at that at that elevation is around 100 miles an hour. Now, that's off the surface, but that goes to show you how strong those winds are just above our heads. And that's going to be what we're going to see translating or moving into the region as we go into the afternoon hour. So we'll go back to the, the larger radar and I'll show you quickly everything pushing our way. So that leading edge of the strongest winds just now entering uh, the upstate of South Carolina, almost to the Midlands. But again, it's this batch right here. It basically, from about here all the way to here, this is starting to move in. So right now, as I'm recording this, it's 9 a.m. Between 10 and 11 a.m. through the evening rush, 5 o'clock, the worst weather is on the way. Of course, I will post updates online, on air. We've got coverage on WCNC.com, all our social media platforms, and our apps. Make sure you're charging up everything because we're likely going to see scattered power outages Go from nothing to a whole bunch, probably in short order. That's the one thing I'll tell you. This is going to go from calm weather, just rainy, cold, drizzly weather, to really wild stuff in a real big hurry today.